Right here we have the rocket mass heater hybrid. Now this is an idea that has been brought up a lot, is whether you could use your conventional wood stove and get some of the same performance characteristics as a rocket mass heater. Now this one doesn't have any mass on it. We didn't have the space at the time to put the mass on it. The idea behind this is that you're using a conventional wood stove for the burn tunnel and feed tube and then you put a, new, put a heat riser on where the chimney comes out that's well insulated, cover the barrel and then, and then bring it down. What we're looking for is getting the stove to burn as clean as a rocket stove. We failed. It doesn't burn as clean as a rocket stove. It burns almost as clean as a rocket stove. Um, and mostly that's because the firebox of the conventional wood stove isn't insulated. So it's not holding all of that heat in right there and then just radiating off the barrel. The smoke's all burning. You're using less fuel, getting more heat delivered to the room because you're burning all the pyrolytic gases. The radiant portions of this stove are the wood stove itself and the barrel up above it. And when it burns up all of the all of the exhaust gases in the barrel, it's kicking out a lot of heat off that barrel, right? A lot more heat than a, than a regular stove, which it's just going up the chimney. When it's in full burn, it's putting off steam and CO2, just like a like you would expect a rocket stove to do. On this one, we bolted the air intakes open so that nobody can close them now, because dampening it down makes it burn dirtier you are talking about system lengths that are only in the 25 to 30 foot range. You can't really go any further than that with this particular design. I haven't totally proven this. This is the third one I've built. It works well, but it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. The normal stove in that space was going through five cords of wood. I think right now it's going through about two and a half cords of wood. A rocket mass heater in that space would use about a quarter quarter wood a year, quarter to a half depending on who was burning it, and I would say this system isn't going to get down below a cord per winter, no matter how much optimization and thermal mass I put on it. To clarify this, what's happening in this stove is because we're leaving the, the casting bare, a conventional wood stove is designed to radiate heat out into the room. So this stove is radiating heat out into the room. It would be more efficient if we radiated less heat from this part of the stove so that we would have higher temperatures hitting the heat riser. When you get lower temperatures heating the heat, hitting the heat riser, it doesn't combust as fully or as well until the temperatures all get up. This stove, at this configuration, is going to be inherently less efficient because it's already radiating half the heat you, you need for full combustion in the barrel. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about innovation, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Yes, it is possible to get a stove that is 75% efficient in the lab and 2% efficient in, in, in the home. It is simply on how you burn it, burn it, burn it. It is simply on how you burn it.